Meristoilation, Wikipedia article audio. Meristoilation is a lipidation modification where a meristoil group, derived from meristic acid, is covalently attached by an amide bond to the alpha amino group of an N terminal glycine residue. Meristic acid is a 14 carbon saturated fatty acid with the systematic name of N tetrade canoic acid. This modification can be added either co-translationally or post-translationally. N-meristoil transferase catalyzes the meristic acid addition reaction in the cytoplasm of cells. This lipidation event is common among many organisms including animals, plants, fungi, protozoans, and viruses. Meristoilation allows for weak protein-protein and protein-lipid interactions and plays an essential role in membrane targeting, protein-protein interactions and functions widely in a variety of signal transduction pathways. Discovery And meristoil transferase Structure Mechanism CO-translational vs. post-translational addition Functions Meristoilated proteins Meristoilation molecular switch Dual modifications of meristoilated proteins Signal transduction Apoptosis Impact on human health Cancer Viral infectivity Prokaryotic and eukaryotic infections In 1982, Coiti Titani's lab identified an N-terminal blocking group on the catalytic subunit of cyclic AMP-dependent protein kinase from cow as N-tetrade canoil. Almost simultaneously in Claude B. Klee's lab this same N-terminal blocking group was further characterized as meristic acid. Both labs made this discovery utilizing similar techniques, fast atom bombardment mass spectrometry and gas chromatography. The enzyme n meristoil transferase is responsible for the irreversible addition of a meristoil group to N-terminal or internal glycine residues of proteins. This modification can occur co-translationally or post-translationally. In vertebrates, this modification is carried about by two NMTs, NMT1 and NMT2, both of which are members of the GCN5-acetyltransferase superfamily. The crystal structure of NMT reveals two identical subunits, each with its own meristoil COA binding site. Each subunit consists of a large saddle-shaped beta sheet surrounded by alpha helices. The symmetry of the fold is pseudo-twofold. Meristoil COA binds at the N-terminal portion while the C-terminal end binds the protein. The addition of the meristoil group proceeds via a nucleophilic addition elimination reaction. First, Meristoil coenzyme A is positioned in its binding pocket of NMT so that the carbonyl faces two amino acid residues, phenylalanine 170 and leucine 171. This polarizes the carbonyl so that there is a net positive charge on the carbon making it susceptible to nucleophilic attack by the glycine residue of the protein to be modified. When meristoil COA binds, NMT reorients to allow binding of the peptide. The C-terminus of NMT then acts as a general base to deprotonate the NH3+, activating the amino group to attack at the carbonyl of meristoil COA. The resulting tetrahedral intermediate is stabilized by the interaction between a positively charged oxyanion hole and the negatively charged alkoxide anion. Free COA is then released resulting in a conformational change in the enzyme allowing the release of the meristoilated peptide. CO-translational and post-translational covalent modifications enable proteins to develop higher levels of complexity in cellular function, 
further adding diversity to the proteome. The addition of myrist oil COA to a protein can occur during protein translation or after. During CO translational addition of the myrist oil group, the N terminal glycin is modified following cleavage of the N terminal methionine residue in the newly forming, growing polypeptide. This occurs in approximately 80% of myristoilated proteins. Post-translational myristoilation typically occurs following a caspase cleavage event resulting in the exposure of an internal glycine residue, which would then be available for myristic acid addition. Myristoilation not only diversifies the function of a protein, but can also add layers of regulation. One of the major most common functions of the myrist oil group is in membrane association and cellular localization of the modified protein. Though the myrist oil group is added onto the end of the protein, in some cases it is sequestered within hydrophobic regions in the protein rather than solvent exposed. By regulating the orientation of the myrist oil group on the protein, these processes can be highly coordinated and closely controlled. This defines myristoilation as a molecular switch. Both a hydrophobic myristoil group and a basic patch, or highly positive regions on the protein characterize myristoil electrostatic switches. The basic patch allows for favorable electrostatic interactions to occur between the negatively charged phospholipid heads of the membrane and the positive surface of the associating protein. This allows tighter association and directed localization of proteins. Myristoil conformational switches can come in several forms. Ligand binding to a myristoilated protein with its myristoil group sequestered can result in a conformational change in the protein resulting in the exposure of the myristoil group. Similarly, some myristoilated proteins are activated not by a designated ligand, but by the exchange of GDP for GTP by guanine nucleotide exchange factors in the cell. Once GTP is bound to the myristoilated protein, it becomes activated, exposing the myristoil group. These conformational switches can be utilized as a signal for cellular localization, membrane protein, and protein protein interactions. Further modifications on N myristoilated proteins can add another level of regulation for myristoilated protein. Dual acylation of proteins can facilitate more tightly regulated protein localization, specifically targeting proteins to lipid rafts at membranes or additionally allowing dissociation of myristoilated proteins from membranes. Myristoilation and palmitoilation are commonly coupled modifications. Myristoilation alone can promote transient membrane interactions that enable proteins to anchor to membranes but dissociate easily. Further palmitoilation allows for tighter anchoring and slower dissociation from membranes when required by the cell. This specific dual modification is important for GPCR pathways and is referred to as the dual fatty acylation switch. Myristoilation is additionally often followed by phosphorylation of nearby residues. Additional phosphorylation of the same protein can decrease the electrostatic affinity of the myristoilated protein for the membrane, causing translocation of that protein to the cytoplasm following dissociation from the membrane. Myristoilation plays a vital role in membrane targeting and signal transduction in plant responses to environmental stress. In addition, in signal transduction via G protein, palmitoilation of the alpha subunit, prenylation of the gamma subunit, and myristoilation is involved in tethering the G protein to the inner surface of the plasma membrane so that the G protein can interact with its receptor. Myristoilation is an integral part of apoptosis, or programmed cell death. 
Apoptosis is necessary for cell homeostasis and occurs when cells are under stress such as hypoxia or DNA damage. Apoptosis can proceed by either mitochondrial or receptor-mediated activation. In receptor-mediated apoptosis, apoptotic pathways are triggered when the cell binds a death receptor. In one such case, Death receptor binding initiates the formation of the death-inducing signaling complex, a complex composed of numerous proteins including several CASPases, including Caspas 3 Caspas 3 cleaves a number of proteins that are subsequently meristoilated by NMT. The proapoptotic BH3 interacting domain death agonist is one such protein that once meristoilated, translocates to the mitochondria where it prompts the release of cytochrome C leading to cell death. Actin, gels olin and P21 activated kinase 2 PAK2 are three other proteins that are meristoilated following cleavage by caspas 3, which leads to either the upregulation or downregulation of apoptosis. CSRC is a gene that is important for normal mitotic cycling. It is phosphorylated and dephosphorylated turning signaling on and off. Proto-oncogene tyrosine protein kinase SRC must be localized to the plasma membrane in order to phosphorylate other downstream targets. Meristoilation is responsible for this membrane targeting event. Increased meristoilation of CSRC can lead to enhanced cell proliferation and can be responsible for transforming normal cells into cancer cells. Activation of CSRC can lead to upregulation of angiogenesis, proliferation, and invasion, the hallmarks of cancer. HIV-1 is a retrovirus that relies on meristoilation of one of its structural proteins in order to successfully package its genome, assemble and mature into a new infectious particle. Viral matrix protein, the N-terminal most domain of the GAG polyprotein is meristoilated. This meristoilation modification targets GAG to the membrane of the host cell. Utilizing the meristoil electrostatic switch, including a basic patch on the matrix protein, GAG can assemble at lipid rafts at the plasma membrane for viral assembly, budding and further maturation. In order to prevent viral infectivity, meristoilation of the matrix protein could become a good drug target. Certain NMTs are therapeutic targets for development of drugs against bacterial infections. Meristoilation has been shown to be necessary for the survival of a number of disease-causing fungi including C. albicans and C. neoformans. In addition to prokaryotic bacteria, the NMTs of numerous disease-causing eukaryotic organisms have been identified as drug targets as well. Proper NMT functioning in the protozoa Leishmania major and Leishmania donovani, Trypanosoma brucei, and P. fulciparum is necessary for survival of the parasites. Inhibitors of these organisms is under current investigation. A pyrosol sulfonamide inhibitor has been identified that selectively binds T. brucei, competing for the peptide binding site thus inhibiting enzymatic activity and eliminating the parasite from the bloodstream of mice with African sleeping sickness.